Hi, today we are training some bushcraft or expedition skills. Come on, jump in and get inspired. And we start today with very simple stuff. Um, the obje objective is to train for the real situation, not if you get lost or something like that, but uh, for expedition if you go somewhere and you have to you have to cope with a situation like going in the rough terrain um, and setting up a camp or climbing a tree or doing some photography stuff um, and to see how it feels when it's not comfortable because if you plan something in in your house at home while being well fed it's warm and stuff like that so every plan sounds very cool and you say yeah i can do that and then you are in at the site and then you realize that you are hungry you are cold you are exhausted uh, so it's very wise to practice that stuff in real but in short um, short bursts let's say so you train in 20 minutes 30 minutes and you can then make it every time harder for example for example you can extend that time you can instead of having that small oops small backpack you can add weight for example or make it more complex <laughs> and now as you can see we are going here through a dense forest in Germany so it's not very tropical but you can make a nice simulation of it I can show you here Annette is in front oh what do you have there some mushrooms Very nice okay so it's quite dense here but you still don't need a machete or something like that to make your way for a thicket and as you can hear you hear a lot of noise from planes or some other machines in the town of Munich so it's not very that kind of wild I mean, that you may expect in the Amazon rainforest or in Borneo or wherever you prefer to go but practicing is always good so you can test your abilities where is your uh, there are people you can test your abilities, your strengths, your weaknesses, your equipment. You can divide your training sessions. For example, if you wanna if you wanna train setting up a camp, so you do only this. And what we plan now is to find a nice spot further down the river and to follow the river stream up or stream down we will see i think we go a little bit further and then we start and then we set a camp but only one hammock and one tarp just to see how it is to do that with cold and wet feet for example now it's spring in germany so it's not very warm i think it's like 15 degrees centigrade more or less so you can imagine the water is not very warm or what do you think is it warm the water i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah but about 10 degrees i think yeah uh, some weeks ago we've been swimming in the Isa River and it was like 7 degrees centigrade 
in the Isar River. As you can imagine, we didn't manage to swim very long in it, but it's a good training as well. Here you can see this is stuff from a beaver. Yeah, very difficult. Interesting. One hand trunk runner. Da -da 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 -da. go ahead because we are a very dangerous Bavarian <laughs> crocodiles as you can hear in the oh. yeah this was one damn dangerous they are very huge at least six meters in length so you can imagine but they don't like women in black. Oh. Hmm. So you are lucky, maybe? Okay. <laughs> this is where yoga comes handy. When you are very flexible, you can do some steps and splits over Ooh, this was a dangerous large one. Okay. Oh, there was a duck. So it, this would be a nice dinner, but we don't have any weapons here and we don't want to hunt now. But we can put the hammock here? Yeah, we will think yeah. here. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Or here somewhere, yeah. Okay.
ready. The only thing that is lacking is fire, but fire will be covered in another video. Okay, so now we are in our camp. Of course, we won't sleep here. Yeah, as we can see, it's difficult a little bit to set up the camp with a little bit cold fingers. Do you have cold fingers? Mm -hmm. A little bit, and uh, me as well. But it's still okay. And um, yeah, I have wet and cold feet in the shoes. But still, it's not that bad. How are you? It's okay, but a little bit cold. A little bit cold. Little yeah, bit of course, cold. in a real scenario, we will uh, get rid of the shoes now and put some dry socks on and fire, campfire, so you are warm if you need to. But it's interesting to do the combined stuff. So not only set up camp with warm feet and everything like that, but um, yeah, to be a little bit more uncomfortable than the normal stuff and you can upgrade it so you can even get totally soaked by cold water or doing every, everything while it's raining mm -hmm. so you are very wet so I, you have to set up first the tarp for example and put everything to the to, uh, to dry here and then you can set up the hammock and stuff so you there are many var varieties and many forms of setting up camps and training uh, sessions and we will do that so we will downgrade the comfort of everything and we will see how it works out um, and how we work under those conditions hope you enjoyed that video and till next time Come on, jump in and get inspired.